Good evening, everyone. I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. How fast things are changing, about as fast as uh, some of the stuff uh, <laughs> going on behind us there. Just back in April, it was going to be limited capacity for the fair. Now it's full capacity today and more normal New York State Fair this summer. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan joining us live at the New York State Fairgrounds, where the governor made that announcement earlier today. And Andrew, we'll throw it to you. So how's this going to work? And what happened to all the temporary plans already announced? Well, Christy, it's hard to imagine those temporary plans actually being the reality of the fair. The fair divided into four different zones, one for food, one for music, one for agriculture, one for rides. It's hard to imagine people buying tickets reserved for a specific day and this fairgrounds only being half full. Well, all of those temporary plans are gone. People who come to the New York State Fair every year can expect it to look the same if not bigger and better than before. And that's why the news from the governor came with such joy when he announced it in the room this morning. No limits on people, all of the buildings will be open, and the fair will look like the fair that people have come to love. Uh, and I believe the overwhelming number of people will have been vaccinated. And again, if you're vaccinated, it's not really an issue for you whether or not the other person wears a mask. It's only an issue for the unvaccinated. That's why I say, don't be unvaccinated. That's his message for people who might be afraid that if they're vaccinated, coming out to something, an event that can hold 100,000 people a day. He says if you have the vaccine, you shouldn't have to worry about what other people are doing. But people non-vaccinated will be asked to wear a mask, but it will be based on the honor system. As for tickets, each day's tickets will cost $3, but they can be used any day of the 18-day event. Remember that the budget, the state budget extend, extended the fair to 18 days, but it was canceled last year. It's back the first 18-day event this year. Tickets from 2019 will be honored in 2020. Live at the fairgrounds, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.